be honest, I'm not being funny. What has the Wales Millennium Centre ever done for us? It's become the most famous building in Wales, for starters. It's an international landmark. What? A national centre for the performing arts, attracting over one and a half million people every year. OK, so there's that. Fair enough. This has to be one of the greatest theatres in the world. It's also home to nine arts organisations, including Welsh National Opera and the BBC National Orchestra of Wales. Yeah, OK, culture, creativity, outstanding performance spaces, WNO, the BBC Orchestra. And the Glanfer stage with the UK's largest programme of free performances for visitors. Yeah, there's the free stage, of course there is, that goes without saying. But apart from the culture, the creativity, the performance spaces, the opera, the orchestra, and the largest number of free community shows in the country. A year-round education programme for people of all ages. Summer schools with room for over 150 of us to sleep over. And tea dancers for seniors. Sending our children's choir to perform in Russia and South Africa. Not forgetting the opening ceremony of the London Olympics. Yeah, all right, there is that. It's won loads of awards, including Lou of the Year. Best awards. Art exhibitions. Apprenticeships, internships. Opportunities for young talent. Gala premieres and red carpet events. And what a building. Coming here has changed Naomi's life. Yeah, all right, but apart from the culture, creativity, the performance stages, the opera, the orchestra, the largest number of free community shows in the country, the brilliant education programmes, the tea dances for older people, the summer schools, kids going to sing around the world, festivals, exhibitions, glamorous events, apprenticeships, and changing people's lives, what has Wales Millennium Centre ever done for us? It puts on up-and-coming comedians, and some of them are funny. Give us a break. With your support, we can do even more.